To UV map this shirt, we want to select edges that divide the model into sections similar to how a real shirt is made from flat cloth panels and is then stitched together along seams. So the edges that we select will be the same as those seams. So to designate uh, edges as seams, we're going to create a UV edge group. To do that, we'll under on the Groups panel, under UV Commands, we'll check the UV Groups checkbox. And you'll see the normal groups disappear. And I'll make sure we're in Edge Mode. So then we will just uh, select the edges and add them to a group. So I'm going to start on the side here. And basically, uh, splitting f uh, the front from the back. I'm going to use select loop to select the edge all the way. And then I'm going to choose add to create the new group and add those edges to that group. I'm just going to call it UV Seams. Uh, the name doesn't matter though. So if I deselect them, I can also I can always go back and uh, select the group and then click select to reselect them. If you want, you can go to the option panel and choose lock selection so that the select selection doesn't get dropped. So now select this the edges around the the sleeve here, separating the front of the shirt from the sleeve. Now this separates the sleeve from the shirt. We also still want the front of the shirt separated from the back. So we're going to select this edge along here. Uh, this shirt has a collar that kind of overlaps so it, it's probably easier to go inside and select it this way. If you don't see the faces on this side, just make sure you have back faces turned on. I'm also going to select along the edge of the collar because this collar overlaps and I want the overlapped part to be separate. I'm just going to subdivide it, make it a little easier to see what I'm doing. I also want to separate the collar from the shirt. If your collar doesn't overlap like this one, then really all you would have to do is do the last part where you're just separating it from the shirt. I had to do a little extra because because uh, it's, it's overlapping itself there. So once I'm happy with how I've split it up, I can make sure I click Add to Group to get all the edges in that group. Actually, it might also be a good idea to separate the the sleeve trim as well. So I use a loop select just to select that edge around here. And then I'll add to group. And select group again so we can see the complete selection. So here I just switch to the other model that I have the edges already selected on. 
but um, they're the same. I also have this other group called center points. The center points is just uh, for when I create the other side of the mesh. Uh, this just tells it which uh, points to weld. So if I select those, when I create the other side of the mesh, it'll just automatically weld those points for me. So I'm going to switch to textured mode. And in textured mode, you can see the uh, seams are highlighted in yellow. If it's too bright, you can go to options and turn down the intensity. So at this point, I'm going to create the other side of the mesh and subdivide it. At the same time, uh, we'll generate our UVs on the subdivided mesh. And uh, I'll keep this mesh um, as my uh, working mesh uh, in case I want to make changes in the future. So I'm going to go to vertex mode and select those center points. And then I'm going to go to subdivide mesh smooth. I'm going to go two times. And I'm going to say new mesh and I'm going to also turn on create symmetrical geometry. And click OK. So go ahead and hide our low poly. Switch to edge mode. You can see that the um, the seams have been transferred to the other side and subdivided. So now we are ready to generate the UVs. So we just go here to uh, generate UVs. Run that. Let that run. And you'll see at the bottom UV generation complete. Uh, switch to vertical split. You can see I have my UVs uh, laid out. And in the perspective view, turn off edge faces. And you can see a uh, checker pattern. To turn that on, you just come down here to toggle checker. So you can turn it off and on. And uh, spacebar up down arrow will change uh, the density of the pattern. You can always check options, edit keys if you want to see what the keyboard shortcuts are. And so from here we would just um, export the object. It's uh, good to go. So one other thing, if you wanted to move these islands around. I'm going to switch to a single panel. UV. You can actually select an island by going to UV mode here and holding down the space bar and selecting any point. It selects the entire island. And then you can move it in. You can rotate it as needed. So that concludes the UV mapping tutorial. If um, I wanted to make changes to my model, I could then just go back to the, the, the low poly mesh, make my changes there, subdivide again, and then run UV generation once again.